So building relationships and building relationships quickly is its own skill. And there are certain things that you can keep in mind, certain things that you can do that are going to help you build a strong, trusting relationship with another person in a relatively short period of time. Uh, you know, when you first uh, meeting someone, you, we, we get this, this first impression phase, right? And first impressions are typically based off of pretty surface things. Uh, and those surface things aren't always super important, but in this case, they kind of are. So that means when you're first meeting your mentees, when you're doing your welcome video, uh, wherever it is that you're putting yourself out there, you want to make sure that you are projecting warmth. Uh, openness, uh, a sense that you care and are excited, not just about the student and meeting with them, but also the year ahead. A lot of what you're going to be doing is communicating and modeling uh, enthusiasm and mindsets that are based around growth and being able to get incrementally better and work at something to achieve something. Um, displaying that warmth and that, that genuine interest is, is you, part of that is your posture and how you present yourself physically, uh, but it's also how you talk and you project yourself to uh, your mentees. Um, and you, you want to be trying to create a warm, safe, supportive environment for these individuals so that they can potentially come to you with difficult, complex, or, or maybe even uh, challenging emotions that they want to be able to express to you. And you're not there to judge them, you're just there to support them, to be an empathic sounding board. And, and emotions are good. You should have emotions. You should display emotions um, as well because you want to be able to, to react in that way. We connect with each other around uh, our, our emotions that we display uh, and that we communicate. You want to be watching your own emotional reactions in case they get too strong and it might be interfering uh, with your relationship. And once we've kind of gone past this uh, surface first impression stage, uh, then you want to be trying to connect with them. And one of the best ways that we can connect with other people is finding things that we have in common with them, right? Uh, so we start this by asking them questions about where are they from? What are they into? What do they want to do? What are they excited about, right? And find little elements uh, in what they tell you and connect it to things that are also in your own experience. That's one way to do it. But I mean, just also sharing enthusiasm for learning about this person uh, is also a really great way to make people feel good. We love it when people show interest in us and ask us questions about who we are and what we're into. Um, you know, you really, you shouldn't be assuming anything about your mentees. You, you don't know anything about their, at least initially, you don't know anything about their background, uh, the kind of opportunities or challenges that they may have uh, experienced. Uh, you know, again, talking about first impressions and surface and what we see, I mean, that often isn't really what's there behind that. So you want to be careful about not making any assumptions and getting to take these people at face value, right? Uh, and, and learn learning about them as you go along. Um, another thing that really helps with making a strong connection in a short period of time is something that we call congruence, which is actually displaying and being like you are on the inside, right? You want to be authentic to who you are at all times. You want to be striving for enthusiasm and warmth, but if you're not really feeling it, well, you can't fake it. People can tell, and that's often worse. So a part of uh, being a good mentor, right, is watching yourself and knowing maybe that there are times when you're not going to be in a good space to be able to forge a relationship or help someone else. Um, one of the things that you should keep in mind is what we call unconditional positive regard. And, and this is this basic idea that, you know, you see this person in the, in the absolute best light, you know, no matter the, the challenges and, and the things that they talk to you about or failures or setbacks have, like you're their, their cheerleader, you're there to, to see them in a really good way and, and build them up. Now, that is not to say that there might not be some off limit topics or behavior on the part of your mentee that might be unacceptable. That's a different idea. If they're doing things that are making you uncomfortable, well, you don't have to be okay with that. We're, we're talking about things that are different than that. 
and and then empathy too. And there's there's a great video that you'll you'll be watching too from Brene Brown about empathy and and what it really means, right? It's it's a subtle thing. It's it's different than sympathy, uh, as you'll you'll learn. And 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 really just being sensitive to this person in front of you, you know, focusing uh, on them, learning from them, watching them, um, and being able to you know to an extent, lay aside your own views and your own prejudices in terms of getting to know uh, this person, right? Still respecting that there, there are boundaries, appropriate boundaries that you'll have, um, but really just wanting to be like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to learn about this person and I bet this person is really cool. That's the kind of attitude uh, that you want to be project-